the police when they got dropped. There is a guy who comes from VIP protection unit, uh, Mapumolo. Mapumolo will send a picture of Mapumolo to IP. He's in white. He's in the VIP protection uh, unit, pushing members of parliament out of parliament against the constitutional court decision that the police are not allowed. Parliament continuing to violate the constitution. And every South African is happy. Every South African is celebrating that and condemning those who are saying this is wrong. Controversial assembly under a cloud. The events of last week still top of mind. Before the debate could start, Speaker Balek Mbete needed to address the elephants in the room. We are now able to report that a powder substance was indeed dropped in the gallery. It was contained in a small packet. The item was retrieved and handed to the relevant authorities for testing. Regarding the presence of the armed members of the South African National Defense Force on the precinct, we wish to indicate that the presiding officers have written to the Minister of Defense and Military Veterans with a view to seeking clarification on the matter. MPs who were evicted by parliamentary security will be referred to Parliament's Rules Committee. When the debate got underway, the ANC's Jeff Hadebe called for calm from all parties. That the mayhem that transpired in this house last Thursday is highly regrettable. Parliament is an institution established with the core values of accountability, teamwork, professionalism, while the Democratic Alliance said the heavy police presence was because the ruling party feels threatened by the people. This, fellow South Africans, wasn't the state of the nation. It was a state against the nation. The ANC on the other side and the people on the other side. The liberator turned oppressor, the true enemy of the people. The UDM's Bantu Olamisa called on MPs to look to ANC hero Oliver Tambo as a true example of a leader. We are celebrating the life of O.R. Tambo, an undoubted champion of the struggle for a just and free society. It would be interesting to know his thoughts on the so-called leaders who have jumped the deprived masses and took care of themselves at the expense of the poor. MPs will have another day to debate the address before the president delivers his response on Thursday. Let's to give it to Parliament.